Us? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. That's insane. I don't think I've ever been in a game like that. Wow. That was probably the longest game 50? of my life, to be honest. BJ, you serious? We shot 50 free throws? 52. Oh, my. Three more for the would have the school record. Wow. Dang. That's insane. <laughs> Boise State shot 52 free throws last night in their 97-60 win over Prairie View A&M. 52! That is now the most in a single game in all of college basketball for this season. And on, honestly, kudos to all of you. And give yourself a pat on the back last night if you sat through that hack-a-shack foul fest. I won't lie. It wasn't the prettiest game of basketball to watch. Nonetheless, Boise State dominates the Panthers in route to winning their third straight game to improve to 6-4 this season. True freshman Tyson Degenhart started for a four straight game and for a four straight game, he scored in double figures, finishing with 16 points. Seniors Abu Kijab and Marcus Shaver Jr. teamed up for a combined 52 points, 32 of those coming from Kijab. Here's Coach Rice now on the mind-boggling 52 free throw attempts last night. And they, I think they came in with a strategy of like, let's look, look at the stats. This is the worst free throw team in the history of mankind. And let's just foul them and hack a shack. And I think it was maybe kind of what the doctor ordered too, is sometimes you just need a bunch of free throws under the lights to kind of get more comfortable. And it seemed like we broke through and started making them all at the end. And, and uh, so we'll probably make them all from here on out. It feels pretty good, but um... Obviously, we're not satisfied. I don't play the game for stats. I play to win. And um, at the end of the day, people look back at our team. I want them to say that we are winners. We are winners. So, Broncos return to action on Tuesday night at home against former Yotes head coach Scott Garson in Santa Clara. Heading down to the prep ranks, Bishop Kelly hosting perennial 4A state title contender Preston this afternoon. Both teams entering this one. 4-0 this season. A couple of Broncos on hand to watch this game. Will Hamblin hits that one from Preston. Indians down five in the first half. In the second quarter, Jack Dennis goes cross court here to Will Chipman. Big Will hits the wing tray. BK up 29-25. They had the lead at halftime. The second half we go. Tommy Hunter, he runs the show, makes the Knights go. The defense, two offense, the steal, and the layup. We move ahead in the third. This is Blake Hawthorne. Nice pass here, finding Aiden McGarvin. Three ball, corner pocket. Knights would go up by six after that. However, Preston would rally late in the third and fourth to take this one, 63-49 the final. Coach Avalos and the Broncos with an early Christmas present back yesterday. That's because four-star linebacker Daishan Misa announcing on Twitter yesterday afternoon his commitment to play at Boise State. Misa is from Eastside Catholic High School in the Seattle area. That's also where current cornerbacks coach Jerron Johnson used to coach before returning to his alma mater. Misa selecting Boise State over a final four that included UCLA, Utah, and Colorado. This past season, he helped Eastside to the state semifinals, and he now becomes the 18th known commitment for the Broncos 2022 recruiting class. By the way, friendly reminder, early signing day is this coming Wednesday. Army taking on Navy today. Can't beat the pageantry in this game, year in and year out. Midshipmen pull the upset. They beat Army 17-13 on this go-ahead touchdown run in the third. What a game, as always, always lives up to the hype. Over at Pocatello, Idaho State announcing they have hired former Cal special teams coach Charlie Ragel as the Bengals' new head football coach. Ragel has spent the last five seasons in Berkeley working for former Bronco defensive coordinator Justin Wilcox. Before his time at Cal, Ragel was an assistant at Arizona from 2012 to 2017. Before that, he was head coach at Chaparral High School in Arizona. Staying with the coaching news, Nevada announcing the hiring of Ken Wilson yesterday. Wilson returns to Reno after spending the last nine seasons in the Pac-12 at Washington State before heading to Oregon for the last three seasons as a Ducks linebackers coach in this past season as co-defensive coordinator. Before that, he was an assistant with the Wolfpack for 19 seasons. We're back with more news after the break.